Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of designing a complete home page using Elementor. And this is our progress as of now. We have created this hero section and uh, then we created the our services section. Now let's go to our original design and see what is the next section. So if you scroll down, we can see after our services, we have this completed project section. Here we need to have one column for this heading and uh, then two columns for these two cards. And we also need to add this counter effect over here. So if I refresh this page, we can see the counter animation over here. So this is what we are going to design next. So let's go to our page and click on edit with Elementor. Now the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll just duplicate this section so that we can get this margin and uh, the same styles for our heading and all. So just right click over here and click on duplicate. So here we have our duplicated section. So let's just rename this heading to completed projects. And we'll remove these two columns over here. So right click over here and uh, click on delete now we need to add three items over here one is this counter and uh, then we have this text and uh, then we have this link over here so let's delete these from here and uh, first of all let's add the counter so we'll just search for counter and uh, we'll drag it in here And uh, our number is 70, so we'll just change the ending number to 70. And then we can play with these settings over here. I'll just leave all of these as default. I'll go to style and uh, increase the size of this number. So we'll go to typography and uh, then increase the size over here. And then we have a text by default under the counter so we will uh, go to title and uh, we'll change the text color first of all and uh, we'll make it this dark color and then we'll go to typography and uh, we'll change the font family to roboto slab and we'll also change the transform to uppercase and then we'll go to content and uh, here inside title we will say websites developed now the last thing we need to add over here is a link i think a button will be better than this text over here so let's just drag this button over here and you can put the link of any page over here i'll just leave it as hash and uh, we'll align it to the center and then we'll go to style and uh, we will change the text color to uh, this dark color and uh, we'll change the background color to something very light. Now we have to remove the box shadow from uh, the hover and add it to the normal. So just right click over here and uh, edit column. Go to style and uh, we'll go to border and then we'll go to hover and we'll just click on this button which says back to default and now go back to normal and uh, add some drop shadow over here alright so this is our drop shadow now we need to have a little bit of space between the column on the left and this column on the right so we will add some margin right to this column and margin left to this column so we will go to advanced and uh, we will unlink these margins and then for the right we will add a margin of 3 pixels and uh, then we will just delete this column and uh, We'll just right click over here and click on duplicate and then we will edit this column and uh, go to advanced 
remove the 3 pixels of margin from the right and add it to the left and then we'll change this number to 56 and uh, the title to apps designed now lastly we also want to have a background color for this whole section so we will go to this section and uh, edit section and then go to style and uh, let's select a background color Alright, so we have added the background color but if we go to the original design we can see we have a lot of spacing uh, above and below this section but in this design we don't have that so what we'll do is uh, we'll go to advanced and uh, we'll remove this margin from here and uh, we will add padding of 100 pixels for top and bottom Alright, so now we can see the padding so that's it with this completed project section. Now let's update our uh, design and uh, go to our website and uh, let's scroll down and uh, here we can see our completed project section. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll probably complete the design of this desktop version and uh, then I will show you how to make it responsive and uh, make it look good on mobile device as well. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.